Honey, there is no better time than the present to make a video. No matter what, what you feel like, you're going to feel better after we have a little talk on, on screen. I wonder why that is. Because nothing I seem to do off screen is enough. Really? I, I'm sorry. No, no. It's hard. It's, it's, it, you feel funny sitting here talking out loud when the camera's not on. I know you do. I, I feel private about it. More private when the camera's not on. I don't, I don't feel like Chris is like right in the next room. I don't feel like he, he's watching television or he's listening to the radio. And I feel you're very thoughtful. Yeah. If we can do it telepathically, why should we be blabbing? You know, if if you if there's a video to be made, to be made, right? Well, Lena, um, the good news is, you'll be better soon. This poor girl, she's she sprained both shoulders working out, and and um, it's been a rough couple of days. Yeah, I I don't want to complain about that. Well. She's been confined, really, to very limited movement because there's a true danger of, of uh, re-dislocating one of the shoulders. And we just want to get you out of the woods with that. And that every little movement is got to be measured. So, But that gives you too much time to think and too much time to ruminate sometimes, I well, you showed me that stupid thing on, on uh, yeah, the Quora. Well, those were old uh, t things, though, of people, you know, slagging us. Yeah, you always say us, but it's just me they're slagging. They never have anything bad to say about John Lennon. Oh, yeah, they still call me a wife beater. That's a big one. How come you never really pay attention when they call me a wife? Because I know you're not a wife beater. So it's like, so stupid. Yeah. Do you know where this is going? And I know you're not a nut. And I know you're not crazy and delusional. And I know that you're my twin flame. And that's why it's, you know, the way you laugh off them calling me a wife beater, that's how I laugh off people who want to call you crazy. Right. Gotcha. We found an old video. <laughs> there was this girl, L Dub. I don't know what her real name was. Uh, uh, might have been Ellen. I uh, I don't really know. Or it, or my, it might have been Alina also. I, I and she was like spelling it backwards. But she was. I knew her from this website uh, on Quora, a web page having to do with twin flames. And she was so friendly in the beginning. This girl, L Dub, and she. Uh, She's one of the people that goes under the name Anonymous. Um, John showed me. He said, remember that girl? She's one of the people that goes on there and says shit about you. But she goes under Anonymous now. And we found the old video. And it's a pretty funny video of John really fucking telling her off. Because this girl was one of these people that thought... Uh, I was trying to let her down easy. She kept asking me twin flame questions, me and John... She asked us as a, as a pair about our opinion on things, but she was one of these girls who was obsessed with a guy that was not her twin flame, and she was, like, stalking him and determined that he'd be owning up to being her twin flame, and he was, like, not interested in her and stuff. And finally, after, after a while, it started getting even crazier, and she started writing me every five minutes saying... You know, do I look my age? I think I look younger than 30. It was, I, I don't remember the exact details, but that was like the breaking point for John. And he was like, get her the fuck out of here. We're not wasting one more minute talking to her. And that's that. And and we said it on a video. You want to play the video right now? Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but he wants to play this video. We see it's from two years ago. Uh, so we'll just show this very quickly. Go ahead, Johnny. Johnny was ranting. All right, it's Johnny. Lena's telling me her head hurts a little bit. I'm not surprised. Her head hurts a lot. Because she has a lot of thankless idiots bothering her all the time and demanding answers from Johnny left and right mm -hmm. through her. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, she was asking oh, no, John. That one tonight is going to start telling you my guides are telling me otherwise. You know, Lena, don't even work with her. Don't even work with her. Tell her she should watch your videos and learn something. Uh, don't even tell her that because that woman is worried because she thinks she's starting to look old and she's 31 or whatever the fuck she is. And she's upset because she always felt she looked really young, but now she feels old. I don't have time for this. Neither do you. All right. And she's worrying about all this bullshit. Ay, ay, ay. When you were her age, you were fucking slogging through the streets of Manhattan, dragging your guitar all around. <laughs> it goes on for a little bit. Not much more than that. But John was, uh, you know, that's basically all he said was, we're not here to coddle you and to tell you that you look young and to tell some guy who's not your twin flame that you really are twin flames. You're just wanting to hear, you know, whatever you want to hear. You don't really want help. It was, it was tough love and it was said very honestly. And that woman has been stalking me now under the name Anonymous and saying um, that I am not a spiritual person and saying uh, the last I heard from her, uh, she sent me a very upsetting video. That was the video. Is it that upsetting? Really? Is it that upsetting? I mean, you bothered me for like a week about some situation that you didn't even, couldn't, you couldn't grasp, you didn't want to grasp. And John is telling me that you had pretty severe bipolar disorder. So that sounds about right. And that you were stalking some guy. Look, I know what stalkers act like. You acted like that. And then and then you wanted us to confirm that you had a good reason to act like that. No, you didn't have a good reason to stalk some guy. And sorry, we're not going to say that you had a good reason to stalk some guy, yeah. And uh, John, I'm sick of people... Uh, this is John, yeah. I am sick of people saying... Uh, Okay, here's the proof that Lena is fucking crazy. John would never be nasty like that. John is peace and love. I am so sick of people having this wrong-headed view of me. I have very definite opinions of people who are idiots and who refuse to wake up when the alarm is blasting in your face. Right. Now, remember, this woman was writing and contacting me for a while and wanting to talk specifically to John so that after a while, she wasn't even saying, hey, Lena, she was saying, hey, John, what's up? You know, like that. Mm -hmm. Like rude, almost like, oh, I'm just here to talk to John, Lena, whatever. You just do your job and channel. Yeah. And now this same person wants to go on record and say, oh, I'm I'm crazy. Right. Look, I have all, by the way, L Dub out there, if I see any more, I have all the written transcripts of all your crazy emails to me. I don't know if you still have them, but I have them. And I won't hesitate to make them public if you don't stop harassing me. Mm -hmm. L Dub. She went under the name L Dub. And I, I don't remember her. Uh, she had a YouTube channel where she do, did tarot card readings, too. And she wasn't very good at it. I remember that. She was kind of like, they were like those oracle cards. Yeah. They were like oracle cards. And she's just like making up crap. And it was like, you could tell that she didn't really know what she was doing. Look, I don't, I don't mean, you know, I, I don't mean to put you down out there. I, I don't mean to. But when do I get to defend myself? Okay. When is it my turn to go up against what you're saying about me. Like, that's your biggest problem out there, is that I dare to defend myself. Just stop it, like we always tell you. Mind your own business. Show some manners. This is my path. This is my path with John, which makes it John's path as well. Whether or not you guys like it that are losing your minds out there still. There's this one honey pot. Well, who's this honey gold? What is she named after that turkey breast at fucking boar's head? <laughs> honey gold? That's what she's named after, right? 
Now she's, I, I see this moron writing uh, pretty recently, and she's saying, oh, I had to check out Lena Jane Lennon out of morbid curiosity. Really? What's so morbid about it? The fact that John's crossed over? You don't even make any sense, honey gold. You're named after a cold cut. And worse still, you named yourself after a cold cut. <laughs> Okay, Christopher's laughing. Now we're going. Now we're we're on fire. Yeah. That's our barometer around here. You hear Chris laughing in the other room? Bingo. Honey gold. Give me a fucking What, what are you what, uh, Who's your husband? Crack pepper? <laughs> Crack pepper on a fucking stick? Shut up. <laughs> now, do you feel better or not? I, I do. You do. You're right. You're right. Incredible, though. And and by the way, that video that we made that we just showed like 30 seconds of, it's only about a minute long. And this girl acted, she's t bullshitting and lying out there and saying that we did a very abusive uh, video that proves how unspiritual I am. No, yeah, really? It kind of just proves that you've been harassing me and, and now we want you to leave us alone. But, you know, you all you all tell bullshit stories out there. Oh, boy. See, now I don't know how healthy this is. This is not positive. Ah, you sound like Honey Gold there. What do you mean? Not Honey Gold, the other one, L. Dubby. Yeah, L. Dubby, what, what do you mean? Like, like, well, not being spiritual, you know? Oh, okay. How, what does that mean? How, what I, people who get mad aren't spirit? Who people who get aggravated are not? They're not spiritual. That automatically makes them not spiritual. What are you stupid? It has nothing to do with it. You could still be get pissed off and be a very spiritual person. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that I'm like sitting here with a halo uh, floating above my head, and I never made these claims. She says she's all spiritual. When did I ever say that? When did I ever say that? I have said that I am a recovering alcoholic. I have said that I have had all these anxiety problems in my life. Uh, John has said he's an addict. We have had problems. We, we, we fight. We bicker with people that we get aggravated with. We're very open and forthcoming about that. But yeah, we're spiritual too. What, we can't be all that at once? What are you, stupid? You're stupid! <laughs> Stunad! God, give me back to the Sopranos. Stunad, Mamaluka. Those people, they know what to do. You get whacked. No, that's a terrible thing. That show is like really, that's very extreme, you know. <laughs> but we are getting into watching the Sopranos. And, you know, as, as ruthless as some of those people are, those, those characters, they still fancy themselves to be religious, a lot of them, and uh, God-loving and God-fearing. Don't ask me how that goes together, because as far as I'm concerned, once you're killing somebody, you know, I don't know, you, you're not fearing God enough. Yeah, I haven't killed anybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that I've ever done is call a spade a spade and, and say what's on my mind. But that has gotten me, I've ended up uh, almost in jail for that, for telling off members of Christopher's family. They trumped up charges and, and just to try to shut me up from talking. So it's like, I guess, uh, you know, as John says, the, 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 the words are, are, can be real weapons. Some people really can't handle it. Yeah. They don't, the, the, the truth is a very frightening thing to a lot of people. And they will try to shut you up at all costs, especially if it's th their truth, the truth about them and the goods on them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Well, it wasn't even anything that, you know, would have gotten anybody into trouble. It was just calling them out on uh, personality defects and so on and so forth. But I guess that was enough to, like, send them off the fucking... And that's what you did with that uh, chicky L-dubs. Well, I did anyway. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Again, I was just getting a terrible headache from her. John blew a gasket at her and said, listen, cut the crap. You're talking nonsense. This guy is not your twin flame. 
And we got better things to do. And suddenly she's like, oh, boo hoo. You're not spiritual. What happened? Where's my friend John? Oh, my God. It's over. The party's over. Right. Sorry, Beatle fan. Such is life. Mm. At the end of the day, you know, me and him are the team. And we're supposed to be helping. 1515, right. We're supposed to be helping you people. It's all to help you. And whether you like it or not, you'll you'll thank me. Maybe not in this life. But you know what? Somewhere down the line, you're going to have to thank me. Am I right, John? If, then if they don't, I'll see to it that they uh, go through the lesson again. Only they won't have a, as nice a teacher next time. Ooh, who's it going to be? What's his name? Uh, Sammy Gravano? Ooh, no. <laughs> What's the guy's name? Who's the guy? Big Pussy? <laughs> Big Pussy. <laughs> That's what they're all out there. A bunch of big pussies out there. Yeah, grow a backbone. All of you out there, get a little tough. You got to be a spiritual warrior. You can't be like, oh, I'm sitting here listening to my fucking harp music. Like, you, you're lying. You're not, you're not that spiritual. You don't know what you're even talking about. None of you do. Mm. None of you do. I have met very few that know what you're talking you, None of you really know what you're talking about. Maybe a handful, and you all know who you are, and I'm not referring to you. But for the most part, you guys are just talking a lot of bullshit, a lot of claptrap, and none of you like hearing the truth. Mm. That's, that's, that amen to that, yeah. So, but anyway, this, I, this was really all just for you and me. It's important that we air air our grievances. What is it, Festivus already at that, that time of year? Festivus, the spring edition? Mm. Well, the summer solstice is uh, it's coming this week. Oh, great. Chris turned the painting. Yeah. Did he turn the painting? No, he didn't. You didn't turn the painting, Chris. Oh, well. Oh, shit. See, that's the painting for the summer solstice up there, up top. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be getting really hot weather here in, in New York City. It's going to be a uh, hot down summer in the city. Back of my neck getting dirt and gritty. Yeah. Back of my neck never got dirt and gritty, I don't think. Mm. You're very clean. Yeah, I am clean. Do you think your neck got dirt? And... No way. You're clean, too. Very clean. Were you always clean? Spick and span. Was The worst time was in Hamburg. Hamburg was a mess. But, well, you know, we bathed. I bathed in that sink every fucking day. Even with half a load on. It's like, I'm going to bathe in the sink. Really? Freezing cold weather. Had my feet up in that sink. Yeah. There's even a sketch Klaus Warman did of you putting your foot up in that sink. Yep. Your big fat foot. Your big duck foot. Shut up. John's got big duck feet. Shut the fuck up, Lena. <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, what's up? Time for rock, rock, rock. Are you going to get down to Rockaway this year? I don't know. I want to. I So much I want to do, and I feel... Don't start feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not having that. All right. There's going to be setbacks. Hey, once in a while, right? You got to just, you know, take a time out. That's all. What are you complaining? Everything's all right. Fine. What are you, not comfortable? Look, it's nice. Yeah, John just put down a, a blanket for the, to pretend we was at the beach. Yeah, let's take a look at that blanket. We put down the beach blanket. See, isn't it nice? Mm. Yeah. Joey Ramon, yeah. It's not far, not hard to reach. We could take a ride to rock. Hit your ride, hit your ride to rock away, beach. Listen, so Joe, yeah. 
You know, all you got to do is go into meditation. You'll be down at Rockaway Beach. It's that easy. Yeah, I know. But I really miss just laying out on the sand and hearing the waves. Well, you put on one of them tapes and uh, Johnny will take you there. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. You sound like uh, Johnny uh, Johnny Five Cents. Like uh, Joey Five Cents. <laughs> Joey Nichols. <laughs> What do you, you don't like watching The Sopranos? I do. That's a good show. The violence too is not so bad. I can kind of look away from it when I need to. Yeah, but it's pretty. It's pretty ruthless and pretty relentless. Yeah. And uh, the one thing I do remember from when I used to watch it is the one that, that when uh, Christopher uh, Michael Imperioli sits on the dog and kills it by mistake. I'm afraid of that part. That's the worst. And when the horse dies in the fire, yeah. When animals get it, I remember. I remember those part of the show. So those parts didn't come yet. I know I'm going to be upset. Well, you could always fast forward through that. Yeah. I know, Lolina. I know. Them kittens, huh? They, I don't know what's going on with them kittens. I haven't heard from the woman. Yeah, it will. Everything in its time. You're not ready for them right now. No. You want to be able to move around a little bit. You can't do that right now. Yeah. Don't worry. Two steps forward, one step back. This is just your one step back. You're still ahead. All right, Joe. Oh, Joey's nice, isn't he, John? Yeah, he's a good guy. Hey, Bowie. Mm. <clears throat> Got to check in. Morale boosters, that's what we are. All right. So all you got to do is check in. All right, Bowie. I saw Iman dropped your note. Yeah, she did. I love Iman. We had a little uh, twin flame uh, discussion. Very, very short, but uh, sweet. Iman is, uh, Iman is right on board. Yeah. She knows everything that's going on. Just to make it very clear, uh, someone referred to David as Iman's late husband and she was very adamant. She was like, he is right here with me and uh, he is not my late husband and don't refer to him as my late husband. He is my husband. And I was like, whoa, you go girl. <laughs> so I said, she, don't fuck with Iman. She's a twin flame warrior and she right away thanked me for that. Yeah. Yeah. No messing around. Oh, I got chills thinking about it. Yeah. She's a strong woman. Mm. And getting more gorgeous by the day. She does she doesn't even look human anymore, Iman. She always had a supernatural look about her, just like you, David. Yeah. But uh she really looks like for she's from another planet. She looks like a Amazon warrior. Mm. Warrior chick, yes. Hey, Freddy. Hey. Wow. Gee. Yeah. We are the champions. Hi, Elton. Mm. Skinner, you know I've been giving you props. Yeah. Hi, Michael. <laughs> Big Papa Lou Reed. Tom Petty. Hey, you you, you, you went right by me. Hi, I, I, Lou. Mm. No, it's okay. It's cool. It's all good. I feel it. You got a little bit of a cramp there. Just uh, relax. I'm all right. Mm. You get tired of the body, you know, when it's not an opt. But yeah, but it's it's optimizing. Just relax. Yeah, go down the line, Tom. Yeah, Joni's going through it too. Yeah, Tom Petty's a twin flame, Joni Mitchell. No youngster also having her health issues. It's tough. Mm. Bob, yeah, how's your flame? It's Ida, right? Yeah. I, I, I encourage you to go check up on her. All right, I'll go see what I can find out about Ida. Mm. Yeah, I haven't been really checking in with the home team too much. Not really. Mm. I love you. I love you too. It's not your job to 
to keep everybody in line. Everybody just wants to say hi, that's all. Uh, I know, but I just feel, and the kids, yeah. Uh, I feel tired. It's all right, it's just the channel. You got time to do a song? You don't have to sit up or anything. We can just do a real quickie. Sure. Okay, well, this is a nice one. I hope I do a good job. This is me with the Wilburys, right? Yeah. As I was slowly passing an orphan's home today. I stopped for just a little while to watch the children play. Alone a boy was standing, and when I asked him why, he turned with eyes that could not see, and he began to cry. I'm nobody's child, I'm nobody's child, just like a flower, I'm growing wild, no mama's arms to hold me, and no daddy's smile, no Nobody wants me, I'm nobody's child. Oh boy, that's sad, isn't it? Yeah, come on. In every town and village, there are places just like this. With rows and rows of children. And babies in their cribs They've long since stopped their crying And no one ever hears And no one there to notice them Or take away their fears I'm nobody's child Nobody's child just like a flower, we're all growing wild. No mama's arms to hold me. No daddy's smile. Nobody wants me. I'm nobody's child. Nobody's child. Nobody's child, just like a flower, I'm growing wild, with no mama to hold me, no daddy's smile, nobody wants me, I'm nobody's child. Nobody wants me. I'm no.